street fighter street fighter hey what is up guys this is Mr. Mata Kiran and thank you very much for watching my youtube channel this is another brand new day and i'm very very excited as usual so i'm wearing this yamai fc to fly you can see me i'm here killing some of the yamai like that's right uh rips harder it's harder now then rips your shoulder rips your heart rips your heart street fighter यहाँ में एफ सी टू फाइव में स्ट्रीट फाइटर को रूप में चाहे उनके स्लोगन ही थी स्ट्रीट फाइटर वाले यहाँ में एफ सी टू फाइव लाइन अभियसली गाइज यहाँ में एफ सी टू फाइव इज द स्ट्रीट फाइटर इन दिस कैटेगरी अमेजिंग बाइक देर इज नो दैट एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड यो यहाँ में एफ सी टू फाइव कोटेशन हो जस्ट बिको यू सॉइट गाइज सो बेसिकली द मेन रिजन अफ मेकिंग दिस भिडियो इज गाइज Where that the, 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 the list. So main point of making this video is that I am going to have a six servicing in my Yamaha X25. So actually, last service, the few services I have done on. 16,895 kilometer. Now my bike has almost, almost done um, 22,000. So it's the time for the six uh, um, servicing. I am speaking a little bit in English as well because this video is gonna be useful not only for the Nepalese, Nepalese viewers, but this video is gonna be useful for the other people who stay outside of Nepal and they understand English. So I'm trying to speak in English, guys. So forget about my tone, forget about my grammar, forget about how I actually pronounce the things. But I think that you understand what I want to say, right? So without further ado, I would like to a little bit elaborate about these things. So it's, it's gonna be like basically the first thing is that I will be heading towards a quiet place a quiet place where i can talk a little bit about my motorcycle x25 so how is the experience so far and what are the changes that i have done and what are the costs that it actually cost me the things that it cost me and the maintenance costs etc etc that i need for that i need a quiet place so Let's head to the road. So guys, finally I have arrived in some place which is I think it is the one of the quietest place that I have found. I am here to share my experience with this beauty, right? Yeah guys, as you know that that this is the Yamaha FZ25 2017 model. So you're going to get ABS in 2019 model. So even though it doesn't have anti-lock braking systems and it's the quite older model but I'm very very happy the way it performs so basically let me tell you the my journey so far with FZ25 it has been almost one and a half, half year so in one and a half year you know why I'm still sticking in this motorcycle because this motorcycle has a lot of things to offer for me according to my needs according to my desire so basically i am the guy who always keep riding around you know sometimes i go for a long tour long ride and sometimes i go for a casual ride and and the and the area i mean the place where i stay it actually has a lot of different sorts of roads sometimes i have to go to the mud sometimes i have to go to the gravel and most of the time is obviously the, the peace road and the main thing is that i cannot afford more than one bike at my home so i need a versatile machine where i can go office every day right so i have to go to office every day 10 in the morning and i have to reach in uh, five in the evening so that sort of things and we can ride and sometimes i take vacation in or in holidays i go for a long ride and this bike has everything good amount of torque that we require for the long ride for the quick acceleration it has got 20 ps of power which is not that much i mean higher but 
that is good enough for the Nepali road, you know. We could have a little bit more power in it, but, but when we go to the road, basically we don't feel any lack of power in absence of that. That's the main thing. Otherwise, I'm a person who actually would love to keep changing the motorcycles, you know, in six months. But this is the, for the first time in my life, for the first time in my life that I'm sticking with FC25 more than one year. And still I'm looking forward to spend another year as well. So, because there are a lot of things in it. So basically, you know, I'd like to show you what are the changes that I have done in this motorcycle. So this is my beast, guys, you can see. And I have installed this, uh, the service handguard in black it just really really sweet in this uh, FC25 because this FC25 is in white in color but uh, it's, it's I think it's a 50 50 white and black and, and, and look, look at this 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 is the uh, the windshield that I have I mean many many people keep asking me what what's the windshield that you have used in your FC25 yeah that's the windshield uh, this is not actually a windshield this is just a uh, visor of a person one a 50 cc motorcycle but it just really really fit well in this FC25 even though when you are on the road it doesn't actually stop wind but it looks perfect that's why I use that one and I have I mean, install a couple of uh, stickers and look at this side. You can see amazing uh, LED light. So basically, in some places this is illegal, but in some places, uh, some some traffic says, "Okay, that's fine, mate." But some traffic says, "Oh, it's illegal. Why did you put that one? Just remove it." But it just it, it depends on the kind of traffic and and, and that understanding. So this is fine guys, I haven't changed much in these motorcycles because I don't think that I have to change a lot in this because this bike seems already naturally beautiful and the best thing about why I uh, I love this motorcycle it is because it's suspension, you know, this suspension is very very good for the long ride, for a little bit off road ride as well so it, this is the I mean the, the main thing that I, I love this motorcycle. It's, it's, it's all about its suspension and its character Look at the seat. Look at the seat. Seat is amazing. Just before you know I used to ride uh, Kitchum Duke 200 and uh, I wasn't totally satisfied uh, with the seat of the Kitchum Duke 200 because when uh, when, when we compare this FC25 seat with the uh, Duke 200 seat then obviously we get a plenty of room in the in the back side in, in, in the pillion and for the rider as well you, know, you get a plenty of space so sometimes if you I mean uh, if you want to uh, move a little bit uh, uh, behind you can do that there's a lot of space you know a lot of space so you don't feel any kind of tiredness or any kind of uh, pain uh, in a long ride in this FZ25 because I have done almost 800 kilometers a day but I haven't felt, felt any pain uh, basically you know I love these motorcycles for uh, touring and I do a lot of uh, long ride in these motorcycles uh, when you actually sit on the motorcycles this uh, if I had to change then uh, definitely I would be raising the handlebar a little bit higher it still it is a still bike and the, the sitting posture is quite aggressive and you have to lean a little bit forward so what what happens when you lean a little bit forward your your uh, your body's weight had to be balanced by your wrist most of the time so it's a there is a high chance of getting wrist pain and obviously that's the thing that I would be changing in this motorcycle it is this fine guys I don't have any complaint about this motorcycles that's why I'm using this motorcycles for more than one year so this is the instrument console so I always put in time so this is the 9 13 a.m. in the morning right this is the fuel indicators this is the rpm and uh, this is the speedometer yeah and let's go to the odometer this is the 21,824 so it's been exactly 5,000 5,000 kilometers since my last uh, servicing 
so I always do servicing in between 4,500 and 5,000 I don't have any issues I have seen a lot of questions and I have seen a lot of people saying that anyway uh, the, the Yamaha FC25 says 5,000 is the service interval time but we have to do in in between uh, 3,000, 3,500, 4,000 that's all bullshit uh, don't listen to them so you can rely 5,000 so I uh, normally do in between 4,500 4, to 5,000 so this has been 5,000 so today I'm taking my motorcycles to the showroom for this the, the, the six servicing uh, yeah I'm getting 30 uh, average 30 38 kilometer per liter that is amazing guys anyway I always get between 35 to 40 so I have never dropped below uh, 35 so which is the best point of thing so the, the more importantly why you you use this uh, motorcycle fg25 for the, the uh, long tour because because we use you know for long tour because of its tank capacity that gives 12 liter of capacity in the tank which is quite higher for the bike like this which gives the average of 38 kmpl in the long ride it it might give more than like 38 you know i have seen the people of doing 39 40. last time i did get me to ride and uh, in in five days i rode about thousand kilometers and at that time it was going up to 40 kilometers so that means 40 kilometers per liter uh, for your travel that is insanely amazing guys and that's the reason why people keep loving this fg25 for long ride so guys, I'm going to record video record that you saw just before. I'm going to go to Surum, Yamaha Surum. I'm going to go to Six Servicing Garden. I'm going to go to the road and I'm going to go to the road. I'm going to go to the road. And I'm going to go to the road. I don't know how it's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to look like. Mm, let's try over here. Let's get it in down. So much you the nice to get a turn of like FG25 like the best way. Wow. It feels good. That is a pretty cover with leaves. Handle is amazing guys, in road no problem, but look at over here, wow, spot on guys, look, wow, I'm going quite in speed in this sort of road, but it's all about the handling, you know, if the bike has good handling, it gives confidence, for good handling, a couple of things, obviously impacts, first one, first is suspension, it should have good suspension, good handle and overall amount of power and torque it's a good combination of bike guys you know just before we did a test ride on the uh, off-road now it's a time to test ride on the highway so no problem in highway it doesn't take any longer time to reach the hundreds it easily reach hundreds and it has good amount of stability so it doesn't take a lot in hundreds but if we cross hundred kilometer per hour then it starts to take a little bit and we obviously start to feel the vibration in 122 kilometer it doesn't take it's a good amount but it has very good stability guys honestly saying I couldn't go above 132 km per hour because of the road, you know, it doesn't have long straight road. So guys, the bike has been done. Uh, so, looks looks cool. 
सो के के चेंज गरे भन्दा खेरि अभियसली चेंज त धेरै नै गर्न पर्ने थियो एन्ड डिस्क प्याच यो डिस्क प्याच लाई 1650 हैन रियल डिस्क प्याच चेंज गरे 1650 अनि मोबाइल फिल्टर चेंज गर्न पर्ने थियो दैट कॉस्ट अराउंड 750 अ त्यस पछाडी एयर फिल्टर दैट कॉस्ट अराउंड 700 and then what I changed and and mobile mobile itself costs a little bit I don't know how much it costs and and servicing charge 400 so anyway guys for this six servicing I paid 4,000 to them so let's get started Wow